61A, lecture number three. Announcements. It appears that all lab and discussion section slots are currently full. We are counting the empty seats in the room this week, and we will open up more slots in sections that have empty seats this Wednesday. So if for some reason you don't have a slot, or you're not in a section that you can attend, just hang in there for a couple of more days, and we'll find slots for you. If you can go to the lab for which you're signed up, please do that. If you go to other labs, it will be very confusing for everybody, because we have just enough seats for everybody enrolled. If for some reason you're signed up for a lab that you can no longer attend, or you're not signed up at all, you can try to go to lab anyway, but give seating priority to the students who are signed up, and that means you should not go at the most popular time, 2 p.m. on Tuesday, but instead come in the evening or the early morning when other people are less likely to show up. Instructions on how to sign up for lab and discussion are here. It won't work for you at the moment because they're already full, but it will on Wednesday. If you want to swap sections, there's a Piazza thread. You should really go to lab this week. If everyone attends the lab for which they're signed up, it will be much easier for us to get all of the other students settled. And lab is really important. And this is the first one, so go. You also need to complete Lab 0 and Lab 1 by Friday. Just do them both by coming to Lab. Is Lab required in this class? Well, it's a good idea to go. You do get some credit for participating in Lab and Discussion, but you don't need to go to Lab and Discussion all semester in order to get that credit. You just need to go to, say, 10 out of the 35 different events that we have related to lab and discussion. However, if you go to more, then you accumulate more credit that doesn't convert directly into points, but instead can earn you points back on exams that you've lost. Why do we have such a complicated policy? It's actually pretty simple. At the beginning of the course, since you don't know how you'll do on exams, just go to lab and discussion. After midterm one, which happens two weeks from this Thursday, you'll have a better sense of your exam scores, and you can decide whether you want to continue going to lab and discussion. Most people will just keep going throughout the semester, but it's not strictly required for students as long as they're getting high exam scores. If you want to read the details of the policy that encourages you to do just this, you can read all about it. Or just take it from me, since I wrote the policy, that you should go to lab and discussion for at least a couple of weeks, and then you can decide whether to keep going or not later. Homework 1 is due this Thursday, and we don't accept late homework in this course, so do it. In fact, you shouldn't wait till Thursday. You should do it today, and we're going to party. We're having a homework party tonight, starting at 6.30 p.m. in 247 Quarry Hall. What is a homework party? It's a chance to do your homework in a room with other people. If we overflow that room, we have other rooms next door. And some of the core staff will be available to answer any questions that arise while you're working on your homework. If you finish your homework today or tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday, then you'll be right on track to finish all the other work that's coming in the next couple of weeks. The HOG project, which is the first project in this course, will be released today, and it's due a week from Thursday. It's due next week, but you should get started this week. I do encourage you to just use what you've learned in class, even if you've studied Python in some extracurricular fashion and know about statements that we haven't covered yet. Why is that? It's good practice, and I want to make sure that you're all set to keep solving problems in the future. So, just use what I've told you, instead of using things that we haven't talked about yet. You'll need to start out the project working individually. And by next Monday, you'll have to have completed the first six questions, 0 through 5, in order to earn credit for checkpoint 1. A checkpoint means that you've done part of the project already, before the due date, and you go ahead and submit that part of the project to show your progress. You'll need to do that by Monday, 
I suggest you do it this week. It's really designed, the project, so that you do the checkpoint one this week and you can finish up the rest of the project next week. Once you've submitted checkpoint one, you can work with a partner on the rest of the project. Find a partner in lab this week or discussion. We have some other ways to find partners too. It's much better if you work with a partner who's in your section. It's possible to work with some friend you have in the course or your roommate or whatever, but it often works out better if you pick someone from your section even if you don't know them already because that means you'll get to know someone else in the course and you'll both have the same TA in case something interesting comes up, like you need an extension or you have a question about logistics or about the project questions. Okay. So this means you're going to do the first part of the project alone, then submit it, then get together with a partner and finish the rest. Your original checkpoint submission should not be the same as your partner's because you were working alone for those first few questions. Once you've both submitted checkpoint one, you can get together and compare your code because the whole project you'll turn in together, just one copy, one version for both of you. So. Once you partner up, feel free to check your work with each other. I suspect you'll even learn something about different ways to approach a problem. Then, submit the whole project. It's due next Thursday. But if you finished by next Wednesday, you get an early submission bonus point. A whole point just for being early. So it's a good idea to get started as soon as possible and get the work done in this course early. Here's my recommended schedule, which is not the due date. It's that you should finish homework one today and tomorrow. Finish hog checkpoint by Thursday. We'll have lots of office hours on Thursday to help you finish that up, along with homework one if anyone's still straggling. And then you'll have the weekend and all of next week to finish up the hog project. And finally, the EECS department is holding two 61A social mixers this week, a chance for you to get to know fellow students and hear a little bit about the department. On Tuesday from 1.30 to 2.30, and on Wednesday from 4 to 5, you can come in to hear a short program about resources that are available to help you succeed, hear some advice from students who have been successful in this course in past semesters, and then talk to each other, maybe form a study group, and eat some free food bought by the department. This is hosted by the Advisors for Computer Science and EECS who are hoping that you'll be successful in this course. And so they're here to support you and they want to feed you as well. I hope you'll attend. It's kind of expected that you'll go to one and not both, but I don't think anyone would stop you from going twice. Okay, on to the content. Once you hear everything in this playlist, you'll be ready to solve all of the questions on homework one and Lab 0 and Lab 1, as well as the checkpoint for the project.